see it right there, making strides against breast cancer. Yes, we are talking all about it because the event is coming up in just a week or two, about two weeks. I want to bring in Miss Amy Giuliano with the American Cancer Society. Hi, Amy. Hi there. Hi, great to have you in studio. Thanks for wearing your pink, of course, in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I let's talk to. about it. I know, right? <laughs> it's just it's just appropriate. So right. let's talk about it, though. I mean, the event, uh, you know, we're back and we're ready to do it. Yeah. We're so happy to be back, especially after the last 18 months that we've had. We all are. Um, and we're so excited to have everyone join us back in person. And of course, we're going to make sure that everyone stays safe and socially distant while we're there. Um, so it's going to be great. Fun. Okay, so talk to people about the event. If they've never been, you know, how it works and how many people are gathering at Liberty Park. Yeah, so about 6,000 is our usual attendance wow. for our walk. Um, this year we're expecting about 3,000 just because COVID. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, and we start at 7.30 in the morning, that's when registration begins. Our walk will begin at 9 a.m. and we'll do a 5K around the Liberty Wells area. Okay. Uh, and we'll end back up in Liberty Park for survivor celebrations and all other good stuff. And this is so great too, if they know someone, you know, this is a great way to support, even if they don't, um, you know, but it's just, it gathers so many people all there to raise awareness and money for a good cause. Yeah, exactly. And we have a breast cancer researcher here in Utah, which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I love everything that we support. Um, we have great services as well. We have our Hope Lodge, which just opened back up and is taking patients again, um, as well as our Reach to Recovery, which pairs uh, breast cancer survivors with current fighters and kind of as like a mentor system, yeah. which is great. Very neat. Well, and obviously with COVID, you guys are taking precautions. So talk yes. to them about that so that they're not leery of anything. Yeah, absolutely. So we are encouraging early online registration. Um, people can do that now, get signed up, start fundraising as well. Um, and we will have on-site registration, but to mitigate that, we want people to register online. Okay. Um, we are also encouraging our participants to wear their masks the entire time at the walk, Good. just so that you know we're keeping everybody safe, survivors and other immune compromised individuals that will be at the walk. We Smart. just wanna make sure they stay safe. When you talk about fundraising, how does that work if I want to register and then fundraise? Yeah, absolutely. We do not have a registration fee. Okay. Um, so you can sign up and connect your fundraiser to Facebook directly and have everyone donate through there. You can hold parties and fundraisers. I have a participant who's throwing a little witch's ball. Oh, fun. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, and she's going to be raffling off some goodies there. So, But it's something they can either, when they do register, they can obviously put in their own money, right, if right. they wanted to donate, or you ask others, and you say, hey, I'm going to be walking for breast cancer. Help yep. donate to you know my group, but it then, of course, is going to support so many people in the research. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, well, and as far as this year, though, the events that happen after, what can they look forward to? Yeah, um, so we are going to have a special survivor tent. Um, all of the breast cancer survivors can join us there to receive fun little goodies, as well as information on all of the services that we have here in the Salt Lake Valley. Um, we'll also have our big pink chair, which everyone loves to take pictures with. Of course. <laughs> um, and just a lot of fun other goodies that we'll have. Discover is one of our big sponsors, and they'll be there. Uh, we'll have Eglin's Best providing some little breakfast bites, and it's going to be a great time. Fantastic. I love it. All right. So, again, oh, there's the pink chair. you got to love it. <laughs> so, it's on Saturday, October 23rd, Liberty Park in Salt Lake City. You can go to makingstridesinutah.org to register, and, of course, register early. Don't forget your mask. Take a pink mask, of course, if you yes. can. That would be ideal. And um, Fox 13, we're going to have a group of people there as well. So, we'll be there supporting. Excellent. Can't wait. Amy, thanks so much for being here. Thank you.